the E911 Talk Podcast, Episode 71, for Wednesday, February 15, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. This isn't science fiction. This is here and now. FCC Chairman Julius Chenichowski. One of the things I love the most about my job at Avaya is the cool people I get to hang out with. And what makes it even better is that those people have even cooler friends. A colleague of mine introduced me to a white paper written by former White House policy advisor and president of JK Strategies, Jim Kohlenberger. The white paper is called The Internet's Third Act, The Connected Device Decade. You can read my blog at www.avaya.com forward slash Fletcher for the URL to download this great white paper. One of the values that Next Generation 911 promises to bring is connectivity between citizens and public safety, as well as connectivity between public safety agencies. But one of the offshoots of this massive broadband explosion, along with the proliferation of wireless technology and speeds, is exactly what Jim's white paper is all about, connected devices. Broadband penetration is on a steady rise in the U.S. with current figures in 2010 that are north of 54%, according to the ITU. In addition to a smartphone, wireless connectivity is extending from your hand to your vehicle to your person, and even to your home or your place of work. As Jim put it, we're not just smarter, we're talking genius. Just imagine the impact that all of the smart technology will have on our daily lives. The possibilities are endless. From your alarm clock understanding that there's a traffic jam on your way to work and reacting by waking you up 15 minutes early, to physiological sensors that are monitoring important health statistics like pulse, temperature, blood pressure, etc. I remember the poor guy in Gaithersburg, Maryland that dialed 911 when he was having chest pains at 9 o'clock in the morning. Not only did the PBX he was using fail to communicate his location, it never notified anyone else that a 911 call was placed. And the only thing that the public safety call taker heard was a couple of grunts and groans along with a few muffled numbers. I sit and wonder what the outcome would have been in the future with physiological sensors communicating that information with the 911 call to public safety, in addition to just letting someone know what was going on in the building, which in itself is a simple task to implement, even without NG911. I believe in the near future, not only will you have an always-on connection in your home, but in your vehicle as well. 4G Wireless, also known as Long-Term Evolution, or LTE, promises to bring broadband speeds to almost everywhere. That alone will enable real-time video from a moving vehicle, if required, and voice will become a no-brainer. From an emergency services perspective, both in the enterprise and in public safety, I think the new killer app will be the one that performs event correlation. There'll be so much data from so many sources that the human being is going to have a difficult time sorting through all of that information and will, on a regular basis, experience information anarchy, as was highlighted in my colleague Guy Clinch's Connected blog earlier this year. I still get asked on a regular basis, when will next-gen 911 actually be here? Given all the activity at the state levels, movement in the alarm industry, funding initiatives in Washington and at the federal level, and the willingness of our Avaya DevConnect partners to build exciting and new applications to service the market, I completely agree with Bill Hughes from TCS's prediction of second quarter 2012. True, there are still some out there that say, not in my lifetime, when they're talking about next generation 911 deployments becoming a reality. Personally, I stopped fighting those battles a while ago, mainly because I'm just too busy working on Next Gen 911 as a reality. Some industries are pushing back on Next Gen 911 as they view it as a threat to their revenue model. Fortunately, others have seen the value of Next Gen 911 and have changed or adjusted their vision to be in alignment with the future. The industry is already clamoring about machine-to-machine communications and how that'll be handled in the next-gen 911 environment. Bottom line, there'll be a ton of data out there, and we've got to manage it carefully. You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911.